All right, welcome back to learning how to deal with order of operations with a fraction bar. So again, we'll have uh, some variables we'll define for the next couple of problems. t is equal to 6, um, x is equal to 3, y is equal to 4, z is equal to 5. And then we're going to solve the following problem. What if we had 9x plus z, fraction bar, x plus z? How do we handle that? Well, again, the top of this guy is, is its own unit, and the bottom is also its own unit. So let's substitute in the, value, the values we have. 9 times x, which is 3, plus z, which is 5. And then on the bottom, x, which is 3, plus z, which is 5. So now it just reduces to the same old problems that we've been doing before. This is a unit. We must take care of it uh, separately. Multiplication always happens before addition. So we have 9 times 3 is 27 plus 5 on the top. And on the bottom, all we have is addition. So 3 plus 5 is 8. Now on the top, we all we have is that addition left. So 27 plus, um, 27 plus 5 is going to be uh, 32 on the top divided by 8. And when you do this division, 32 divided by 8 is simply 4. So that's the final answer. So these problems are not any harder. I'm just you know, the only other step is we have to substitute in for the variables into their proper locations. So let's go ahead and do the last problem here to give you some practice with this. 10 times t minus z over 10 parentheses t minus z. So let's substitute in. On the top we have 10 times t, which is 6, minus z. And on the bottom we will have 10 parentheses t, which is 6, minus z, which is 5. All right, so how do we handle it? On the top, it's its own thing. On the top, we have multiplication happening with subtraction, so we do the multiplication first.